Organics, grain-free, butcher and bushel, dog food review. Looks great, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, I was so excited when I got this at the pet store. I thought it was a go. The ingredients look good. The description looks good, looks fantastic. Until I open the can. <laughs> Wait till you see what's in here. Now, I only bought two cans, so I reserve this one to open so you can see right from the get-go that I'm not lying what's in there. Who knows, maybe this can will be different. We'll see. But I can't wait to show you what is in this can, what I was surprised to find out, and you will be very surprised too. Now, the reason why I was so excited about this dog food is because it's not good to feed your dog dry dog food constantly. They should always have some type of wet dog food, if not all the time, if you could afford it. Well, this looked good to me, so I thought I would give it a go. And it's from Castor Polnix Natural Pet Works. It says, as you can see on the label, organic chicken wing and thigh dinner with sweet potatoes and gravy. And it gives the full list of the ingredients on the back. Boy, was I surprised. Wait till you see what's in this can. Looks delicious, doesn't it? All right, hang on now. Let's get there. Let's get to it, shall we? Here is the can I opened for my dog the other day. Let me give you a hint. There's a reason why I have this extra cup on the side here. <laughs> Let's just say that. All right, you ready? We're going to open it. Now, I only gave my dog about a quarter of the can, so... Let's show you. By the way, these lids work great. They fit nearly almost any can. So there we go. Ah, uh, looks delicious, doesn't it? You could see natural bone broth in there. Absolutely delicious. I concur. That looks great. I will say when I opened the can, I was very surprised because number one, there was like this much missing out of the top of the can. Uh, <laughs> so already I was gypped off. I was gypped, so I don't know, go figure. Anyways, then the rest looked like water. So going through this, that looks delicious, doesn't it? Whole chicken, wow, yeah, zowza. Well, holy crap, look at this. Are you kidding me? That is a bone, a whole bone. Why are there bones in this dog food? Now, I just want to say... I read the entire ingredients and everything in this can. The title here shows no bones, says no bones. I read the ingredients, and I'll read them out loud to you here. You should be able to see them, but if not, I'll put a little magnifying on it. My magnifying glass on the subject and see if you can see it from there. Ingredients. Organic chicken, organic chicken broth, organic chicken liver, organic sweet potatoes, Organic carrots, organic pea protein, organic blueberries, yum. Organic dried egg product, that's good. Organic coconut flour, although I don't know why flour would need to be in there. Organic flaxseed, calcium carbonate, salt, sodium phosphate, organic alpha meal, that sounds good. Organic... Googer gum? Or is that organic flour first? Let me see. Let me look closer. Hang on. Organic googer gum. Chlorine. Clo Chlorine chloride. Okay, whatever that means. Sorry, I'm trying to read it and show it in the camera at the same time. So it's difficult to do. Let me just go ahead and read. You can look at the dog food while I'm reading. <laughs> uh, potassium chloride. Sodium Alginate minerals, zinc amino acid, sodium, oh, zinc amino, zinc amino acid complex, iron amino acid complex, copper amino acid complex, sounds good, Mag, manganese amino acid complex, sodium selenite, calcium lodate, vitamins E supplement, vitamin A supplement, niacin, thiamine, Mononitrate, D-calcium, P-, 
Panothiolite, robofibin, roboflavin supplement, vitamin D supplement, pyridoxine hydrochloride, sorry about that, vitamin B sub, vitamin B12 supplement, folic acid, organic rosemary, organic sage, xythan gum, and whatever 8B36012 is. So there you go in my little magnifying glass. Now, did anything in these ingredients at all see that there's bones in here? No. No, 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 no. Take a look at that label, please. So here's the front of it. Nothing about bones. There's the ingredients. Nothing about bones. Oh, look at this wonderful label here. Number one ingredient, organic chicken. Wonderful. No corn, no soy, no wheat, no grains. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Nutrient-packed, super blend, organic blueberries, organic coconut flour, and organic flaxseed. So you can see all that there. Only until you get to this, and only after I fed my dog, opened this can, and found the bones, only after all of that, after the purchase, do I turn the entire can around and read under uncompromised quality. Not in the beginning, not near the end, but at the very end, check this out. We believe that to get the best out of dogs, you have to put the best in. Well, I agree with that too. That's why we created our complete line of products for your dog. As the leader in organic pet food, we understand that the extraordinary quality and nutrition start with exceptional and safe ingredients. Well, I do too, so why are there bones in this dog food? Let's keep reading. Our slow-cooked whole chicken wings and thighs offer marinated tender cooked tender chicken cooked on a softened bone. Okay, it says it's cooked on a softened bone. Doesn't say there's bones in there. Very last line, let's read. This special cooking process makes the bone soft and safe for your dog to enjoy. Are you kidding me? I would never feed those tiny chicken wing bones to my dog. Now, maybe it's true, but I don't agree, and I'm not putting that in my dog food. So, hence, I have to do some sifting here. Tell me what you think in the comments below, because quite frankly, in my opinion, dear friends, all right, that looks all right. I could just simply cook a chicken myself and do the whole work of taking the bones out. Why would I pay somebody to put bones in dog food for me? So hence, I have this other cup over here to put the bones in. Because I am not feeding this to my dog. Look at this nice whole chicken that's beautiful. But again, look at, I have to fish this bone out here. Oh, and as a vegetarian, this is absolutely gross. I am mortified. Oh, I'm mortified with that. Oh my God, the bones are soft. Super soft. Look at that. I could just break it. All right, maybe they are right. Maybe I'm on. Oh my gosh, I can feed this to my dog. Shut up. But you know, I wouldn't have the confidence to do that. There's a little hard piece there. I wouldn't have the confidence to do that had I not done this, had I not broken it apart. Now let's see this one. This one feels pretty hard, I have to say. This feels extraordinary. Oh. It's not hard. Oh my gosh. Well, be me. I have been, I stand corrected. That's hard though. I could hear that crack. Did you hear that crack? Listen, those are some shrouds in that one. All right, maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a real hard shroud in that one. I'm not feeding that to my dog. All right, do I need another plate here? All right, this one could go in there, but these pieces right here are extraordinarily hard. So I'm going to take this lid here and put those over here. Look, you could even hear it clicking on the plastic because it's hard. That could get caught in a dog's throat. Look at that. It's very hard. That is bone. All right. So as much as I thought I stood corrected, I also stand on... All right, that's very soft there. That end piece is very soft. So that'll go there. This, listen to that crack. 
I'm not feeding that to my dog. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Well, give me a second. Okay, with clean hands, do I dare go back in? Let's go back in. That's nice. But look, at there's also dog food or something in there. I don't know. What is it? The flop? Is this flower chunks? What is this? They're square pieces, and that is definitely not a chicken if it's a square piece, because chicken doesn't come in square. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if it's mixed with, like, dog food or what, or if those are the flower pieces. I have no idea, but I just want to make sure there's no bone in here. Oh, my God. Look at that thin little bone. Look at this. Come on, organics. I mean, I'm sorry. That's a, Okay, that's really soft there. Super soft there. That top part's soft. Now, let's see about this piece right here. Listen. Soft. Oh, crunchy there. All right, that bit's soft. But if you're going to go through all this work to go through this in the can of dog food, shouldn't you just cook your own chicken? And it would be a lot cheaper. Okay, that I'm definitely not giving to my dog. There are shrouds in there. I get the point. They did what they said they were going to do. It is true. The bones are soft. Some of them. Most of them. Some of them. Most of them. Not these. These are shrouds. Sharp shrouds. Let's keep going. I got to be really careful what I feed my dog here before I... Because normally what I do with a can of uh, wet food is I just take some out and put it in the dry and mix it right in. But I can't do that. I have to take this step, this process, to pick through this dog food because I don't trust it. Oh, there's another crazy bone. Just hold that to the side for a minute. That all looks... Oh, wait, is that a bone? I will finger through it in a minute. Oh, look at that. That I don't know if that's a bone or marrow. All right, after I fork through it, I'll finger through it. Because I just don't trust this. All right, here's the deal. Here's some nice gravy in here. Let's hope when I pour this in my dog food, no bones will come out. All right, let's uh, do this over here. Listen for the crunch if there's any. That's soft. Crunch. I think that one's soft enough to give to my dog, but there's a few pieces in the middle that are really hard. So I am, again, putting this over here in my... And this is a really tedious... Yeah, I'm not giving that to my dog. That little piece I will, and that, that I will. If you got to pick through it, make your own. That's all I'm saying. So let's see. I don't want any bones to show up in here. He's going to love this gravy, though. It's going to be fantastic. All right, no bones. I don't see any bones in there. That's great. All right. Now let's, uh, I said I was going to finger through this to make sure there's no bones in here. My poor dog. I don't want my dog cho choking on bones. For Pete's sake, they're chicken bones. All right, the rest of this seems all right. All right. And I'm going to double check this because these are the bones that I... These are definitely soft enough. Oh, now there's some crunchies in that one. We're going to take these ones out, put them over here. Ah, oh, look at this tedious process. I get the point. Thank you for making this awesome dog food that's natural chicken. But I just have a problem with the bones, guys. Um, I mean, they're not beef bones, hard bones. Not that I agree with that either so much because I'm a vegetarian. But I would rather give a dog a beef bone, a big hard beef bone, than a small chicken bone. You know, yeah, there's some bits in here that I'm not happy about. Like that one's... Pretty crunchy. All right, I'm getting this out of here. These are coming out. They look soft, but I'm telling you, they're crunchy. I can feel how hard they are. So, my dog deserves better. 
So I will add some of this to my dog food and then I will save the rest to feed it to him later. Because this is more than plenty to give him on his wet food and that's how we stretch it. So there we go. He will love this. All right. Thank you, Organics. Uh, I appreciate it, but from now on, I'm going to be either buying different dog food or just cooking my own chicken and removing the bones if I have to go through all this work. Let's see how Maxie likes it. Come on in, Max. And, of course, he loves it. And you see that pumpkin there? That's to put in dog food, too. Because it eases dogs' stomachs when they have sensitive stomachs. What do you think? Are you liking it? Of course. He's not a fast eater, so that's all good. This is how he normally eats. I'm glad he's enjoying it. Is that good, Maxie? Good job, buddy. Thanks for watching. How do you like it, Max? He says, good. Okay, so as promised, I did say I was going to open this can before you, since this is the only unopened can I have, to see if it's the same results as this one that I've already opened, to see if it's full to the top or not, like this one was not. And, of course, I'm quite sure there's all the bones in it because, as we already read, there are bones in the small print on the bottom there. Softened bones, they say. Most of them are. All right. So, that's pretty full. That's fuller than the other one. There is a, a slight bit missing from the top. I mean, you'd think it should be right to the top for the expense that you pay. But this one is but definitely fuller, fuller than the other. So let's see what this one looks like right off the top. This one mostly looks like dog food, interestingly enough. So we're just going to use the same bowl and add it to this and siphon it like we did before. But this one doesn't look like whole chicken like the other one does. Isn't that interesting? Interesting. This is more like dog food. You've seen what the other one looked like. How strange the two cans are different. Wow, that's so strange. Not one bone so far yet. Look at this. This all looks like dog food. Oh, here's a big piece of chicken now. All right. Wow, two totally different consistencies in these cans. There was barely any of these little square pieces in the other one. Look at that. Look at the difference. So here comes a big bone. We'll try to get the square pieces out first just because it's easier that way. Oh, nope. Oh, here comes the bone. So let's do this. It's, oh, look at that small little bone. All right. So again, here we go. Small bone. Can a dog eat that? That piece he can. That little marrow or whatever it is. Let's listen. Soft. Soft smush. Getting harder. Little harder. Okay, that center piece I would throw out. I'm not going to feed that to my dog. So that, we're adding it to that pile there. And that, the top pieces are always the softest. So let's put that over there. Let's grab this other piece that's in here right there. Big, huge piece of chicken. Put the meat in there. And again, let's listen for the bone. See how soft it is. Super soft. Smooshes right up. So we'll put that there. Here's the center. Let's listen. Crunch. Crunch goes over there. Crunch, which goes over there. That's softer, but there's some crunch and sharp shards in there. So we're going to put this over here. And this top piece, like I said, it's always the softest. So crunch that and we'll put it over here. This little piece over here, that one's sharp. So you got to pick through it. If you're going to go through all this work again, you might as well just, you know, cook your own chicken. That's all I'm saying. No bones in that. And what a mess. Ugh, who wants to go through all that? I mean, I'd rather do it in the crock pot, you know? And pick it out from there. Or actually just 
<laughs> do chicken breasts. Here's another bone. So that's a pretty big bone, and I could feel already that this piece is hard. At least it feels that way. Let's see if we could smush it. It's crunchy. I, I wouldn't give that to my dog. This, listen, that's definitely crunchy. Oh, did you hear that? And this one, mmm, that's partially hard, partially soft. That one, it looks soft, but it's got hard pieces in it, so I'm throwing it over there. All right, organics. Well, what a hot mess we got going on over here. Just want to make doubly sure. See all the work you got to go through? And the whole point of buying canned dog food is so that you don't have to work. Like you just open a can and feed it to your dog. But this obviously is not working. So I won't buy this again, organics. I'm sorry. Um, I got to finger through all this to make sure it's safe. Just the way it is. Maybe I'm over picky. But I love my dogs. I only have one dog now, but all the dogs I've ever had, I love my dogs. That's why I say I have dogs, not just dog. All right, and this looks just, this just looks like liquid. So, organics, that's the second can. You can see what a hot mess it is if you want to pick through. Hey, if you feel like you want to feed these softened bones to your dogs, go right ahead. But in my opinion, these ones are too crunchy to feed him. Would he be okay? Yeah, probably. But what if he did choke on it? I'm sorry, it's just not worth it to me. Thanks for watching. I really love that you're watching these videos. Leave me a comment in the comments box below to let me know what you thought, if I'm just over picky, or if you wouldn't feed these softened bones to your dog either. So that's my review of Organics Grain Free Butcher and Bushel Dog Food. Thanks for watching. And I just made a hot mess. See you next time in the next video. Okay, guys, I have to turn this video back on. Uh, I had ended. You can see what a hot mess I made. I had ended this review of organics, butcher, and bushel dog food. You saw the review, and I was separating the good from the softened bones um, and the crunchy parts over here. But as I was continuing to do this, just double checking through all this, mushing through everything, this seemed fine. I'm going to triple check that again. I thought this was okay and I was going to feed this to my dog. But let me tell you something. I just found this really sharp piece right here, which really scared me. It's really sharp. Oh, my God. That would go through his throat. That would not be good. Look at that. Pointy and sharp. I don't know if you could see that or not. But it feels sharp, it's very pointy, and look, I can't even crush it. I can't crush that. I'm squeezing it really hard. So that is not a softened bone right there. That is very sharp, a shard. So duly noted, duly noted. I'm glad I turned the video back on to show that. So I'm really concerned about this now. I'm going to double, triple, quadruple check. Again, thanks for watching. I love that you're watching these reviews. Let me know what you think, okay? I'll keep doing them. Okay, guys, so I have made the executive decision to throw these bones out as well. I knew I was going to throw those out because these are, these are definitely the ones that were crispy and hardened and crunchy. So you saw the shroud that I pulled out of this one that I thought was going to be okay. Executive decision. I'm just going to throw this out. And now, of course, you have to go through the labor of getting a bowl, not conveniently putting a nice little label on the can. These lids are great, by the way. They fit multiple cans. This is what I usually do, just put it on the top, put it in the fridge. But not happening today. I had to go through all this work to cipher through what's good and what I don't feel is safe for my dog, even though the can says it is. Hey, maybe it's, maybe it is, maybe that's their opinion, maybe that's your opinion too, but my opinion is... I ciphered through the dog food to make sure it's safe. This I'm throwing out. This I'm keeping. Uh, this is some juice in this can here, and I still have to cipher through this before I put it in there. So, <laughs> executive decision. Throwing out, throwing out. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated.
Okay, so just as an FYI, I did just pour the rest of that in there, the, the juice, and even though it just appears to be the juice, I have to cipher through this again. I just don't trust it. So, it's painstaking. And here's the rest of this one. We'll pour this in here as well. Maybe I'll let it sip through my hands. That feels safer. All right, that's the end of that. That seems safe. That's all right. Woo! Why don't you just go and buy your own chicken? I'm just saying. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. I gotta go wash my hands. Yuck! And we are throwing these bones out. Look at how, look at those shrouds. Look at them. Come on, I don't want my dog eating that. Look at them. All right, in the garbage they go. And as promised, I'm also going to be throwing these softened bones out. Because you see the shroud I found. So there goes that. Thanks for watching. And finally, finally, now that we siphoned through it all, we put the lid on and put her in the fridge. And there she goes for another day. And as usual, thanks so much for watching. I love it. Thanks so much. I love that you're watching. Thanks so much.